No, okay, but all right. It started. All right, you want me to go with why I believe Sasuke wins? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so with my scaling, Sasuke scales above Naruto in QBM form and also mm-hmm. logically base, which Neji, of course, scales relative to, given that in the fight, it's not like one overpowering the other. They both fight relative to one another. So mm-hmm. I scale Sasuke above Neji at that point, and uh, therefore he would just you get into your one sc- shot. Oh, sorry. oh okay. all right, my yeah. bad. You can go with you. Saying, you want to get into your, like your scaling for like Sasuke over Naruto? Okay, yeah, that's cool. So basically, um, we have statements for Sasuke being stronger than Gar. I mean, stronger than Neji through the use of him scaling to Gara, who Naruto scales above Neji through the fact of him shitting himself when he's like in the presence of Gara. And I could show a scan for that. I don't want to just leave you hanging. Give me one second. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna grab some scans too. Got you. Take your time, homie. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wish I could click multiple one of these. My for some reason, if I don't have it like uh in the thing in this little first shits, I can't click all of them. It's so annoying. Yo, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> it's like yeah, mad. Yeah, I was debating like the other day, and my scans couldn't come through. It's like, uh, bro, that's <laughs> the worst. No, the worst is when you're going through Shonen Jump, and that shit just I I don't know it like acts weird, and you can't no longer scroll through pages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use, like, Manga C. It has, like, the Viz translations. It's pretty good. Ah, that's smart. That's smart. And then, yeah, okay. so, going off from that, right, so we have Naruto being more fearful of fighting Gara and just interacting with him. And this is a Naruto who, of course, knows he has access to the QB chakra, like when he went and gets Neji. And he's like, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't see myself beating this individual. So through that use of him understanding where Gara skills at and understanding where Neji skills at, it's logical to make the assertion that Naruto views Gara as above Neji. We understand that Sasuke then fights this Gara and is pushing him to the point where he feels like he needs to go into full body transformation. Then going forward, we have Sasuke fighting a semi-transformed Gara on a relative scale. The only thing that really fucks Sasuke over is that he runs out of chakra and the curse mark activates, crippling him. Yeah. See, here's like the thing. I think that um, lore would mo- more so imply that Neji's stronger, as well as I think um, I-, I more so advocate for like uh, Naruto getting much stronger as the tuning exams go on. I believe like the the skin that you sent with like him being scared is is more in regards to, like the beginning of the tuning exams. And we know we like see Naruto kind of like uh, boxing a stronger guard than Sasuke fights. Oh, okay. I already know what you're about to get to, but um, I, I disagree yeah. with that. Yeah, like there's it's a lot like of a, has to do with like Resolve Amp, I think I've heard. Yeah, it was with the Resolve Amp, and even like with that, I could show the scan for this also. Uh, Naruto only is able to do anything because Gara cannot do anything from the previous attack where Naruto stabbed him in the ass and, it fucking, and he was crippled. So he couldn't do anything anyway. So Naruto basically yeah. got the mental amp and beat up a Gara who couldn't really defend himself in any way. He was weakened. Okay, okay yeah. let, me, let me grab something. Um, okay. I'm just going to grab a couple scans of the fight between, like, Naruto and, uh... I got you. You cool with me speaking on that fight while you're getting the scans? Because I don't want to, like, throw a bunch of points at you. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, even, like, in regards to their fight, we know that Gara's holding back for the majority of it up until he gets stabbed in the ass. And that's where he states, okay, I I have to take this dude seriously. But then after that, we know that Gara's weakened. So, when Naruto's beating the shit out of him, this Gara can't really do anything about it. So, yeah. you know, I don't see the scaling of like base Naruto being above him in any way because there's a lot of contention in the fact that Naruto beats up this Gara who's fucking around, weakened, and then it leads into this more serious fight. But, you know, it's it's iffy there. It's not like you can say base Naruto is above Gara because logically there's things that contradict it. While Sasuke has this certified concrete showing of where he scales and we know that he can comfortably fight semi-transformed Gara. It, fine like he wasn't he wasn't you know the struggle he was having struggle but still relative just means being in the range of so sasuke would still be scaling above that qb naruto and we know uh gara scales above that naruto because he flat out states i can crush that fucking power that you showed against neji like he's confident in facing him and and here's like the thing too. so i'm i'm pretty sure you're referencing the scans in which like sasuke like a uh, rips a riff ha- like half transformed gara in half with Chidori. Is that what you're referencing? Yeah. Yeah. You know that, like, um, Gar like, tanks both of these attacks, like, uh, low difficulty, and then he tries to activate, like, a third Chidori, which is, like, too much for Sasuke, and uh, he gets, like, incapacitated by the curse mark. So I think that, um, 
Like most of Sasuke's attacks against Gara were shown to do like little to no damage. So I, I can get you a skin. This I know like what you're talking person. about, but I disagree with that. Gara flat out states that um the person who hurt me. So he's clarifying that, that attack did injure him. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. We hear, we see here like the first time he uses Chidori against this amp Gara. We see him like laugh it off and regen the attack, and then he tries to use it again. He, he does like a similar, similar thing, and he's also like. He's also like enjoying himself throughout this fight, you know? Yeah, but Gara always does that when he's having an actual challenge with someone. Like when he's well, facing well, no. a strong opponent. It, it, when he fights like uh, Sasuke in the arena, he, he's like, you know, he's being like pushed to his limits in this fight. Just like base Gara or like uh, Gara without being transformed. He's like struggling super hard against uh, the Sasuke. But we see that like uh, Gara goes into psychosis versus like... Um, like enjoying himself. So more so in the fight, I think that he's kind of like mocking Sasuke's strength pretty much. Well, their actual battle was him saying like, your hatred is weak, you know? Cause he's saying like the, and this is what makes Sasuke later on, that whole thing with Gar makes him think like, damn, my hatred is kind of weak. Yeah, his, you know, like hatred refers to strength with Uchiha, right? Well, I would disagree. I would think it would be speaking more on the emotion in this case. Uh, here, I can get you a scan. But like even here, he said, if I can defeat someone strong enough to wound me, rob him of all what he is, I'll feel even more alive. Which lets us know let me, Sasuke let was actually hurting him. Uh, it, it's in regards to, like, hatred. Here, I'm showing him. So here, uh, it's sending in a second. It's like, okay. And then we even so have here, Tamari uh, stating in that same scene that I said, Sasuke has managed to wound Gar twice now. Gar, who had never been scratched before. Is he a monster too? So there's more to actually say that Sasuke was actually hurting him. Gar's just being a crazy ass. Like, yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah. We can finish on that and we can get into like more of this hatred point. But okay. like, uh, here's like modern and Hashirama. Well, it's like uh, Hashirama talking to like Sasuke and the rest and like Tobirama. And mm -hmm. it's them referencing like hatred and strength. And he says, uh, the Sharingan taps into the power of the person's heart, rapidly increasing his or her strength along with the power of their hate, right? Mm -hmm. So this is like hatred being like directly proportional with strength in this sense. So by Gara referencing that his like his uh, his hatred is too weak, he's also kind of like referencing the fact that Sasuke isn't really like uh, amped up to the point where he can defeat this version of Gara. And I think that's that's also kind of shown. Like I like you're you're referencing like the points about um basically like uh like it not like it actually hurting Gara. Like some statements in regards to like uh, the damage it really did. But I think it's more so like um. It's it's just more so contradicted, really. I disagree. I feel like when Gara states it, he's saying specifically the emotion that Sasuke has in regards to his hatred is just weak. Gara wouldn't have any um, knowledge of like the hatred relating to his actual power. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. It's just that like um, if you're, I'd say like with the Sharingan and with Uchiha in general, when you refer to someone's strength or hatred, even if you're referring to the emotion, like the emotion hatred itself actually would like amp you this is like a uh, part of the reason why itachi was telling sasuke like right after he bodies him that he doesn't have enough hatred you're not strong enough like hatred would just like even even if he's referencing the emotion and has no knowledge of the fact i that get what you're saying i get what you're saying well my yeah. argument against that is that they show a scene prior to this and i'm gonna send it to also but i'm also like talk so you know you don't have to just read this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. but gar is talking to sasuke and he's like i thought i told you you have eyes like mine eyes seeking strength spilling over the hatred and intent to kill. Just like me. Eyes itching to kill those who drove you into torture called solitude. Which logically in this situation, right? He's referring to the fact that the um, like Sasuke's hatred in terms of him wanting power, wanting it, it's just weak. It's nothing compared to Gara's. Gara wants to get stronger. He will kill anyone in his way. But Sasuke is hesitant. He, he can't do what he needs to do to actually acquire that power. Which later on pushes him to, you know, push away Naruto and etc. So I'm saying contextually yeah. within the scene, it fits more to guard just referring to the emotion and everything that comes with it, right? Because the previous conversation he had, and I'm going to send this to, I'm going to send like the full uh, thing. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, I don't want to be saying shit. You're like, what? Yeah. You. And I, I think, I think uh, I'm, I'm okay. going to go I'm ahead. I'm going to get like the full context of it too. Um, okay. If you want like the full panels before this, that's fine also. But this is like uh, yeah. the full thing I'm speaking of. Okay, yeah, and I'm just like grabbing, grabbing some things too in regards to like what like what happens like, in the fight besides like Chidori because I have like another argument in regards to this, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So you know that like, uh, are you aware that like Chidori like severely amps your speed and strength? Yeah, I know. I, I understand mm -hmm. that. Like Chidori yeah. is really um, would it be the word like a kryptonite against Gara Sand? I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, well, we can get into like chakra nature too after, but like, here, so here we have like uh, Sasuke. This is like base Sasuke without using Chidori, barely being able to react to like a uh, this amped Gara. And then we we see him use the Chidori, and he kind of like. Uh, matches an ap almost but and then, and then we can get into why that's not not so much of an ap feat but i think his speed doesn't really scale towards gara unless he's using like chidori okay well i disagree uh we have like at the beginning of the fight sasuke reacting to gara with no sharing on and i could see that too like he, he um, does here, get wait. he does get scratched like barely. Wait, wait, let me get like one more scan here's sasuke like saying that if he doesn't have sharing on and he can't like uh you know, Sharingan like, kind of gives you like a precog. Yeah. If he couldn't precog, he'd be dead. He says this. I can't even dodge him without taking time to predict his moves. Without the Sharingan, I'd be dead. Yeah, but we know so, like us to actually like physically react to something. If it was too fast, the Sharingan wouldn't matter. You know what I mean? Because um, that happens yeah, but, like, with the, Lee. The fact that it's like uh, he he should be slower than Gar. Like, uh, do you do you agree to that? Like, like he should be slower than Gar. Maybe not like a blitz like a blitz sense, but he should be slower. So. Like with or without the Sharingan. Uh, even with Sharingan, it's like difficult for him to dodge it. Mm -hmm. So I'd say that like uh, his speed would scale lower. Even his, like his reaction speed can scale like pretty similar in regards to like the Sharingan. But in regards to like actual movement speed, I'd say it definitely scales slower. Uh, I would disagree. I would say they were quite relative. And they were quite relative. Okay, we can get into that. And then like we even um just like further seeing with the point of, like the relativity, we have like Tamari stating that like. Uh, Sasuke counters uh, Gara. Like, it's just multiple stuff for Sasuke not being, like, fodder in this situation. Okay, so I I think that most of these statements are more in regards to, like, uh, chakra in nature. You can get into that if you want. Mm -hmm. So uh, are you aware that, like, lightning... Also, wait, lightning also in that same panel, because I, I need to, like, get all these out so I don't forget them. Because my mind mm -hmm. wander. In that same panel, we have Gara being like, I just realized why I'm enjoying myself. So this pain, like he he knowledge he acknowledges that he's actually being hurt. And he's enjoying himself because he's actually being challenged and hurt. Mm -hmm. so, okay, yeah. so let, let okay, let, let's get into like uh, chakra in nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're you're aware that like lightning's weak against earth. Or yeah. lightning's strong against earth, sorry. Yep. Okay, so I think that that's like most of the reason he's really able to do so much damage, or even able to pierce Gara in the first place. And then, like second to that, I'd say that like um, this like Chidori almost doesn't really scale your AP. Really, uh, it's like a piercing attack. It's more so of like a um, like. I wouldn't say it's like a Duran egg because it definitely requires some Dura, but like the fact that he's piercing through this element that he should be like extremely strong against. Mm -hmm. Second, it's more like a sword piercing your body. Oh, I'd say it's like, like less so. It's like a hacks ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kind of like that. I'd That's say it's fine. like less so of an AP. That's fine. Okay. And then, like, you, you know that like Neji ignores durability, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. So, like, in regards to, like, AP, I'd say that, like, wait, hold on, let me, let me get the scan real quick so I don't, like, leave it out. Um, it's basically a scan that says, like, Neji can attack the inner organs, so that could be, like, the heart, the lungs. Yeah, basically, if he gets his hand on Sasuke, Sasuke getting fucked up, I agree. Yeah, so basically, if he touches Sasuke, he's, like, dead. So yeah, I'd say it more comes down to, like, a speed argument, but we can get into speed more so now. Okay, that's um, fine. Okay. So, okay, I don't want to get... Here, let me go to Neji. Fuck. Neji, Neji, Neji. I gotta get all this shit. I really gotta make sure... Put, like, my files and shit, like, name them. Bro, I try that, and right, I still be fucking having, like, a look too long, so I don't... It's no fault, bro. It's you cool. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So here's, like, a... Neji reacting to fourth gate Lee, like he can perceive his movement. We only see him, Guy, and Kakashi actually able to do this. The other characters are like not even able to perceive his movement. So this is kind of like Neji reacting to like a fourth gate Lee. And then he states that like the technique, the fourth gate, is used for defeating Neji. And this is fine. Lee should know Neji's ability. So the fourth gate can scale over Lee. But okay. I'd say, like, uh, Neji scales more towards, like, gates one through three. Okay. 
Well, my um contention that would just be that it's flat out stated that Gara's strongest opponent was Sasuke. And then we have oh, like, yeah. and then in terms of the actual showings of feats, we know when uh guy states, oh, he's the same as his weightless self. Obviously, while in Gates form, Lee is weightless. And there's no difference in feet between the two. We even know oh, that. I see. Yeah, I we see. even know that this like this gated Lee did less to Gar than Sasuke, given the fact that Gar is like, oh shit, I gotta fucking, I gotta go full body. I can't fight this dude normally. You know? Okay, so you're saying like uh Lee without the weight the, the statement the guy says like he's about as fast as Lee without the weights refers to the gates because he doesn't have the weights in the Yeah, gates. in regard and I'm using to support this in terms of, like the feats and etc. I can oh, send okay. a stamp like the data book stuff too. I don't want to leave you hanging. Um yeah, I see, I see. I, I disagree with this interpret yeah, I, I know that too. Okay. I th- I disagree with this interpretation. I can kind of explain why. Go ahead. So I think that like um Basically, what uh, Kakashi's trying to do with his training is make Sasuke weightless Lee speed, right? Mm-hmm. This is his intention. And we kind of see in a scan, it, it's like referencing. Wait, let me, let me grab it. I should have it on hand. Um, Are you talking about the scene where like he's behind, um, he's behind Gara, and we see like the image of Lee? Yeah, yeah. This is like uh, Lee fighting without the gates. Yeah, I would just or, say Sasuke or, sorry, just got sorry, like, faster throughout the fight. Uh, you'd say that Sasuke got fast wait, with what showings. Oh, okay, I got you. So in the beginning of the fight, we know Gar is able to like react to Sasuke in some fashion with his little like shadow clone. I'm like, not shadow clone, but the fucking sand shits. And as the fight goes on, Gar can no longer react to him in any type of way. And Sasuke's just blitzing him. So we know that Sasuke doesn't start the fight off and goes for it at the same speed. We know he gradually ramps it up. And we know Sasuke's even faster than that because he fights a faster Gara. So it's just yeah. like it's a lot to support. Well, like Sasuke just wasn't, you know, just wasn't yeah. weightless Lee speed. Well, here's two things, right? In like uh regards to that, I think that this statement made by like Lee, oh, wait, sorry, by Guy is like right at the end of the fight. So I think this is more so uh Sasuke building up to this weightless Lee speed, not necessarily him like um being there right away and then he builds up to the gates. I think it's more so the other way around. And then I, I actually don't think that Gar gets any stronger from fight to fight. You talking about, so this Gar isn't stronger than any other form of Gar, like but, um, when he fought Lee? Well, no, I, I think that the Gar that fights Lee is uh, the same as like the Gar that fights Sasuke, like in the arena. Oh, okay. I disagree. Okay. Oh, yeah. So there's a statement within like the manga where it states that when Gar like drinks blood, he's stronger than before. It increases his strength. I can show you the scan for that. Oh, and then we know well, prior to the actual Sasuke fight, he kills like two other more people. Uh, yeah, he kills him like right in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. he just fucking murks him. So we know that this Gar is not the exact same strength as he was when he fought um when he fought Lee. Going by that logic that's pointed out in the panel. Um, so it's cooking painless. I was, uh, bit, bitter crimson, tears flow from lifeless and, and please just let us bestowing ever greater power upon the demon god. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. yeah okay. This is fair. I don't have contention to this. Okay, so, so you, we know so this you, isn't even uh, the same Gara. Yes. Okay. So it should be a like, stronger Gara. That's fair. I can agree with that. Um. All right. Let, let's. So is your speed scaling? What? what Basically, you're what scaling up to like uh, uh, since Sasuke. Neji's only relative to QB Amp Naruto, right? And Sasuke, mm. I can make an argument for him scaling above that. Then Sasuke has the means to just blitz him, like blitz him. Just oh, and you're you're scaling above QB Naruto's like uh, Naruto can't really react or damage uh, go, like a uh, Gara, and he's resolve him too. I'm yeah, I'm saying. That's... So what I'm saying is that unless it's some evidence, like unless you're not scaling off that, then correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to straw man your point. I'm not. No, I can scale off that. I can yeah. also. So, but we we kind of moved past AP, so I'm more on like speed. Yeah, I'm not speaking on AP. I'm just saying in regards to, like their yeah. speed, since the only feat that Neji has going against someone will be Naruto. Like, Neji doesn't yeah, do her. anything. You know what I mean? So, I'm, of course, speaking on what I, you know, know of Lee's actual, I mean, Neji's actual showings. What I'm saying is, as long as someone scales above QBM Naruto, we know that QBM Naruto is relative to Neji and putting, you know, putting some work in, right? They both wasn't able to damage one another, but Naruto was most definitely putting work in. Then Sasuke, just by scaling above him, would logically be able to actually blitz him. And then with Jory, he's just a one shot. I'd say that, like, uh, you, you know when, like, Naruto stabs Gar in the butt? Yeah. Mm, I'd say that's, like, kind of like a blitz. You know, I can get into that. I would disagree with that. Okay, here we go. Let me, let me get these scans, right? Gotcha. So, he's kind of like... Uh... All right, so here's the scan. Here's the scan. 
All right. So like um, at the top right panel, right, we right. see Gar or we see Gar like turn around and like acknowledge Naruto coming in. Mm hmm. And we see, and we see like a whole another panel of Naruto traveling, so we can like safely uh, make the statement that Naruto is still traveling by the time that Gara turns back and looks at Naruto. So I'd say that like uh, the fact that Gara can't react to this at all, it's more so like a representation of the fact that Gara scales to like uh, it, like his reaction speed can't really like can't can't really react to this Naruto. Not okay. really a perception blitz, but it's more so his body not being able to react. Okay, I would disagree with that for the reasons that it stated more than once that Gara isn't taking Naruto seriously. So Naruto is able to cast okay. this like fucking around Gara off guard, and I can like sense. Wait, and before. also by the way, this is this is before the point where Naruto is mentally amped. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So yeah, we even this is like before he does the mental up also, and before he gets stabbed in the butt. Uh, Gara states more than once. And then the scene I'm showing like at the top, that's after he gets stabbed in the ass, which goes further with my point substantiating it because he states, oh, okay. I, I underestimated him, but still either way. So we know the last attack was because Gara was not taking Naruto seriously as an see, opponent see, and was suppressed. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about like that. That statement that you say about like uh, Gara not like underestimating him or whatever, he, I, he shows feats of him like... um. Like attacking Naruto and like damaging Naruto, even while not taking him seriously. So I'd say that the fact, like, why why doesn't he turn around and just like slap the shit out of Naruto? He does he this needs- like after that, right here. Like he hits or he mm-hmm. like does the thousand years jutsu on the, the Nar- or on Gara, and then Gara turns around and bitch slaps him. Mm-hmm. So I'd say that like uh, since like Gara doesn't do this earlier during like the panel that we see Naruto traveling, it's just like. Kind of backs my point up. What I would be saying is, what you would be saying is a suppressed guard was able to do this, which is fine. What I'm saying is, the feats that Sasuke just has better showings of feats and is more concrete and it's not a suppressed version. You wouldn't All say right, like Krillin's, on. you wouldn't say Krillin's relative to Super Saiyan Blue Goku because of their fight, because there's evidence to point that Goku wasn't taking him seriously. So whatever happens there, you would only say it's of the level of a suppressed Goku that he's able to match. Or even like doing uh, it. I've never seen Dragon Ball. Oh, I damn. Fuck. Okay, well, damn, my example just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, also, I think that the, the Naruto that Gar is... Or, or the Gar that Naruto is fighting right now is stronger than the one that Sasuke fight. Yeah, fought. that's fine. I'm saying it goes suppressed state. Oh, okay. You can't scale it above the other... Like, you can't scale above a serious one. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. So if he's suppressed due to, like, not taking Naruto seriously, I'd say that he's, like, uh, also suppressed versus Sasuke. I disagree. Okay, let me grab. All right, because uh, I would just ask I, I you, like, that, can you show like anything to show he's not taking Sasuke seriously in the fight? Yeah, sure. Give me a sec. Mm-mm-mm. Let me grab these. Uh, by the way, it should be like chapters one twenty five to one thirty seven. If you also, um, the scan you sent before this, isn't it like right when he stabbed him in the ass that he transforms? Yeah, the scan you sent where um Gar hitting Naruto. That's literally right after. So I'd say that yeah. the fact that he does it after and not before. Well, that's fine then because we know after this point, Gar is like, oh, fuck, I underestimate him. I got to take him more seriously. So he would just have been um, caught off guard yeah. and Naruto was able to even do anything like that. Smack the shit out of him. And like he would be like, okay, yeah, Naruto actually is kind of like something. That's fine. Oh, sorry, can you say that again? I cut what I was well, so basically, what I said was it goes with my narrative of Gara holding back because if the if, no, if Gara is able to just smack the shit out of him after Naruto stabs him in the butt, and we know before this Gara is saying like I'm not trying, I'm not taking you seriously, and we know at this moment, like even like after the um after the explosion, Gara's like, oh yeah, okay, I underestimated him, I gotta take him more seriously. Then it just goes with the point that he wasn't taking him seriously at this point. Like he yes, didn't smack his spine because Naruto couldn't react to him smacking him. So okay, it's more here's consistent feats with Naruto being below Gar than him being above or even equal to it. See, here's the thing, right? With with that, Naruto means to get hit here. Like that's his plan. So I I, th- I don't think that's like more so like you believe he wants to get hit. He already stabbed him. Yeah, that's why he like flies away from the battlefield to avoid the explosion and just goes like kaboom. No, like he he doesn't want to get hit by the uh, explosion. If he just blew him up right there while he was there, he'd get hurt too. Well, I disagree. I think he could have stabbed him and just jumped off. It's no need for him to have to get hit. I don't think that Okay, but but you the, the thing is like you're expecting like Gara Gara can make one movement, turn around, slap the shit out of him. Naruto uh-huh. has to blitz in, hit him with the uh thousand years of death jutsu, and then jump away 
like before Gara can react. That, that's blitzing him. Well, twice. what I'm saying is, if he can't jump away, if his only way of getting away is to get smacked away, and he can't jump away, then your feed of him saying that he blitzed him is weird and inconsistent. He can't. He can't okay. do it again. He can't replicate the feat. Okay, I I think it's like uh, I I think it's like it, you it, shouldn't what I'm be, it shouldn't be. No, yeah, I understand. I just feel like it's like more so uh you're just kind of like expecting like a bit too much from naruto here no, he'd have to blitz gar wait no no wait hold on hold on you that you know that this is like that'd be like blitzing gara twice twice in a row well if he before can he can once, react once. He be able to do it twice uh no because because this is like a this is garo in like one movement like one singular movement turning around and slapping him so i'd say that it, it doesn't make sense for naruto to be able to blitz him once and then blitz him again, and like, and Gara only has to make one movement here—a stronger Gara than fight Sofsky, right? Let me just I, add that. I think, and, and I think that the like the the bottom right panel, like, just like him flying away, knowing or like knowing that he hit him, and, like outsmarting him. Like, yeah, because he was expecting him. to be hit. He understood that Gara was not taking him serious based off the previous statements. What I'm saying is, you're giving a weird argument because you're saying this one feat means that Naruto scales to him. But then we have the other consistent showings that Naruto doesn't. Even with this, if mm. by my narrative, right, we used to agree with it, it works fine. Naruto expects to get hit because he understands he isn't stronger than Gara. He is not in any way equal or rivaling him. This was a this was a lucky attack nice. due to Gara not taking him seriously. Well, see, the thing is, he replicates these feats like even later on. Uh, you, you you sent the statement of like him starting to take Naruto seriously now, mm -hmm. right? So after this, he starts to take him seriously. Yet he still gets the fucking shit beat out of him by like base Naruto using clones, right? Oh, I can speak I, on I, that. You're gonna bring, yeah, you're gonna bring up that he's like um, <laughs> he's weakened. That he's like uh, weakened from this attack. But th that part right there doesn't really fit your narrative, right? Just the fact that it, now he's like, oh shit, now I'm gonna take you seriously, and then he just gets uh like he just gets like the shit beat out of him. Right? No, it works in my narrative so, just fine. Wait, okay. Okay, then why why would he even bother making the statement if he knew that he wouldn't be able to react to Naruto's next attack? Well, originally, Gara didn't think he was that hurt until he actually tried to do anything. Because he's even like, here, he's like, oh shit, I haven't recovered from my last attack. I can only shield myself with sand. So his previous statement is fine. It just means Gara no. didn't think he was that injured to the point where he couldn't do I, anything. I think still he should be narrative. capable of knowing. Well, I would say that. that's expecting too much when he was hitting his weak spot. Okay, here, like, here, I'll, I'll give you the example. You know, like, when Sasuke cuts his body in half with Chidori? Yeah. All right. He's more so, like, uh, aware of that damage he takes from that. I can send that. And uh, also, like, uh, basically, Naruto's, like, also, like, Naruto's, like, AP would scale off of this. I don't know if you, like, disagree with that. I disagree. But at least... Oh, really? Okay, hold Hard. on. Hard. Hard disagree. Um... You know that he tries to seal, like shield himself with sand. That's fine. Ah, uh, yeah. So he tries to do that, and Naruto still like, uh, kind of like beats the fuck out of him, and like, like, uh, like pierces his durability, and then like, uh, so that that would scale his AP, and then in speed, I just Wait, think you, that like the fact pierces durability, uh, pierces durability, like uh, break past the boundary that durability provides. Like where the sand is? Well, he was weakening I'd, his sand. Okay, so like, like drooping off, you know? Like well, he... durability, I'd say like durability is almost like a wall, really. So you, you can hit that and you'll either break down the wall, being their durability, or you won't. Dur mm -hmm. So the durability would like... So here we see Naruto hitting, like, just like bitch slapping the fuck out of Gara so hard he has to go into his full state. This, this is kind of like his AP scaling over Gara. I wouldn't and say then that's the Gaara, reason he transformed. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Your narrative, right, right, of him like not trying, and then now he now he started trying. We know this, right? right? And then he gets bitch slapped by Naruto, and then in this middle panel, he's like, um, or is one of these panels? It's like the top leftish one. He's like, oh, what is he? All of the sudden. There's no way I can't. So even while he's trying, he's still conceding that Naruto is like such a strong opponent. He's really got Gara cornered. So I think that like this narrative provided by this last scan kind of just scales Naruto relative. Well, my two contentions to be well, to this would be one: the only reason he transformed because he's in his weakened state, and his weakened state he can't handle a mental amp Naruto. Two: it would be a mental amp Naruto. 
And then it still okay. goes with my narrative because he only, he says, I'm going to take this dude more seriously. I have to finish this now because he didn't think he was that injured originally. The moment where he tries to do anything, he's like, oh, fuck. I can't, okay. you know, I can't do anything for, I'm, I'm, I'm weakened. And then he okay, transforms so- because he's in this weakened state and it's easier to transform and try to recover. It's an instant fix. Well, yeah, I understand. Are you wait? Hold on. I just want to get this clear. Mm-hmm. Are you agreeing now that like cube or that like resolve Naruto scales more towards like? Uh... Yeah, I'm fine with agreeing that resolved and Naruto was scaled oh, more towards Gara. Uh, okay, That's fine. I think that like uh, Neji is also relative to a resolve and Naruto. I disagree. Okay, I I can go into why like Naruto was resolve amp. Uh, here, give me a second. Okay, I need to find this. Hold on. Okay, hold on. It's cool. So here's here's like a like uh, I'm not finished yet, but here's like a mental statement. In regard, I I think I fucks. I know exactly the panel you talk about with Haku, where he like thinks of Haku and shit. Oh, you talking about it now? Okay. I was looking at the first one. I confused myself. Oh, like his mental state at the moment is like in regards to his mental state. Then let me find the second scan. Are you aware that like when he says he's going to become Hokage, he gets like a mental amp? Um, it depends on if it's provided with actual like uh, context within the scene. I'd, I'd say it probably is. Like, he says he's going to become Hokage, and in this, he, like, uh, bodies the fucking rotation, right? Well, they both explode. I want to say he bodies it. They both, like, poof away from each other. By the way, let me let me just send the scan in regards to uh, when he says he, he's going to become Hokage. He gets stronger. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. In the battle against Genius Neji, everybody guessed that Naruto would be defeated. Naruto was unable to compete with Neji, who attacked him one-sidedly, but he was able to keep fighting through believing he could cut his, through his own destiny with his own strength. That's like resolve. And then he mm-hmm. draws out the fox, his fox's strength with his own willpower for the first time and obtain the victory. Okay. Right? So the reason why I disagree with that is because we know in the fight, Naruto literally goes from, okay, well, I can't beat you, right? I'm going to activate the Nine Tails. It's no mention of him getting amped in any sort of way. While we know contextually within the fight with Gara, it's stated and shown that a mental amp is present. So I believe mental amps have to actually be supported from the actual panels, panels itself. Like you can't say because when well, Naruto was angry at the time, he gets amped. It has to be something supporting that he was stronger at this point in, in this mental amp state that you're insinuating than like any other time. Like it has to be supporting some sense. I could support against Gara. He literally got a mental amp. But in here, yeah, you're, but in, you're, in, you're like making the assumption he was mental amp. When we know that the only thing that boosted his strength was the QB. They even stated I, I, this is the QB chakra. I would I would say that uh, I'm not really making a song. So he like uh, gets fucking pissed off about uh, Neji. And then he's just like, he's like mad in the scene. Neji's scared. And then he's like. When I become Hokage, this is like his resolve. He's building up his resolve, and then he's like, when he bodies the rotation, right? So is that? But doesn't when he say that he turns, he uses the Nine Tails chakra. Is what I'm saying. Well, sure, he can be he can be Nine Tails chakra and resolved. Okay, both. I disagree with that. I disagree in the context of this scene. That's what's happening. He and here, wait, hold on. One more thing. One more okay. thing. Uh, in the Kiba Inozuka, in in the data book I sent. There's mm-hmm. a picture of Naruto, and it says every time he says the word Hokage, Naruto gets stronger. So, okay. so he, this is that. him saying, when I become Hokage, and then he punches Neji, and Neji cancels out his attack. So this is definitely, for sure, an amped Naruto. Well, I would Neji's still go with the point of you have to provide that in that scene, he's gotten stronger. Okay, that's, okay that data book statement says he gets stronger saying Hokage. That's fine. But it still has to be supported within the scene. You can't say every moment he says Hokage, that's an amp. Every scene, and even when they don't even mention he's gotten any stronger, you think people are just looking at Naruto and like, oh, damn, he's the same strength, same Hokage? You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? I think that the whole feat of him, like, uh, dissipating the rotation is kind of the feat that shows he was amped more, like, when he says that. You know that, like, uh, the rotation's more so, like, in regards to this absolute perfect defense. It's been no, built up, like, throughout the series. Wait, hold on. 
it's been it's been like um it's been like built up throughout the series as that ten ten makes so many statements about that. That was like actually kind of annoying. And she's like now she's like um Neji spins his rotation, it blocks and repels their chakra. And like uh so so this is like building up the rotation, right? And mm-hmm. then we see Naruto make the statement about Hokage, and then he bodies what's supposed to be this perfect defense. I think that's the fear. Well, one, I would just say Tamari's a dick sucker. Like <laughs> Tamari isn't the, like the god of knowing the quality of every jutsu. She even she didn't even she made this statement prior to Gara even using his absolute defense. So her statement isn't like uh fucking you know the word of God. She has a inherent bias towards Neji because she sucks his dick the majority of the time she's present with him. And then her statement is prior um, before even seeing Gara use his absolute defense. Okay. So, but- and then going forward, right, I still would need some claim because we even, I'm going to like send a panel here where he specifically asked for the Fox's power. But if he was getting a mental amp of any sort, right, people would notice it. Someone would note on it the same way how when he did it in front of Sasuke and even like guard noticed. They're like, oh shit, something's different. It wasn't like that with Neji. It specifically focused on him getting stronger from the QB amp. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Like the um, panel that I'm referencing in regards to like amped or resolve amp Naruto is when he, he's already activated the QB, right? right. And actually, like he, he has that whole statement with Neji and Neji like pulls down his uh, headband and you see like the, the mark or whatever. And they have the whole conversation about the Huga. And he basically yep. says that he not just like a, a bitch. And mm-hmm. then basically, he's just like he's already he, he then activates QB, right? Mm-hmm. He's pissed off. He activates QB. And then now, now that he's, he, you know, that he like Neji reacts to him multiple times, even yeah, while he's they show the relativity QB. to one another. Yeah. And then now we see him make this statement, this Hokage statement, and then body this. So, well, you, well, you made the statement that 10 tons more of like, uh, like, uh, like a bias. Yeah. yeah, a bias party. yeah. Yes. So, but I'd say that it's, it's more of a narrative argument. I think that my, like the narrative of this perfect defense kind of like supports me. You and don't he, think he, you know, like is he, contradicted by Gar showing his absolute mm-hmm. defense later? You think Neji's still greater than I think that? both can be like a perfect defense. That's fine. Yeah, but perfect would mean like it has like, can something be perfect with a with a partner with it? You get what I'm saying? Like Abs- I'm absolute. Absolute. There could be two perfect things. Like the same thing. Like I have a gun, it's perfect. I can have another perfect gun. It's a different person, different, like, not a different person, but like a different manufacturer, et cetera. It's still the same quality as this perfect one. I think perfection the, uh, has you, to have this, like, I, I guess I, like, misspoke on saying it's, like, perfect, but it's it's a fucking beast defense, right? The, the mm-hmm. narrative supports that. It should I be, like, in, like a very good defense, that, right? So uh, it, to, like, uh, Tintin hyped them up at that moment before Gar showed anything. I won't take it as, like, a fact. All right, hold on. I think there's more statements in regards to the rotation. Uh, hold on. Uh, still, like the thing about like ten ten talking, uh, you could argue that, but it's it's more so uh, like ten ten speaking, more so like a narrative from the author. Let's say like uh, you think you think an author gives them like absolute knowledge. Mm, well, yeah, I would say that. I would say they only give them knowledge on what the character should know logically. She would only know Neji. She doesn't know everything about Gara, given she didn't even know about his absolute defense before making the comment that Neji's is better. That kind of Well, no, her. I, I, I think that more so it's it's more like um, it's more like uh, th- that's the author's intent. His, his intent is for Neji to be like uh, more powerful, right? I disagree. Wait, hold. All right, wait. Let me let me make one more statement. Oh, it's actually okay. like multiple statements, even from like other people in the tuning exams, that Neji is like the. Uh, so this is like before Neji gets beaten. It, this like the narrative of the tuning exams really for for mm-hmm. me. It's more so like amping up Neji to be this perfect dude. That's why like uh, Ten Ten saying this. They say that no Genin can ever beat Neji. And then then it's like, right? uh, and then Naruto beats him, right? Uh huh. So I think that these statements in regards to the rotation is like the author's intent to make Neji this OPS character that, ne- that Naruto beats. Well, I, I feel like that gets like, contradicted a lot. He's supposed to – okay, he's the strongest Genie. Naruto beats him. <laughs> he gets he loses. Well, right? Exactly. And then, well, he, and then exactly. wait, to further support it, right, to go with like the point I'm making, they say like, oh, they don't know about Gara. For one, they don't know him. 
So they're making this statement and it will only be based on their knowledge. Because logically, if Gar could turn into a whole ass tailed beast, then you wouldn't be top dog by comparison if he ain't showed a feet to compare to that. He's only been beating up Lee. <laughs> like, okay, wait. Hold on. I think that you saying that is contradicted is like base is still what I'm trying to prove. I'm trying to prove that like uh, Neji's supposed to be this perfect dude better than anybody, and Naruto is the only cap- man capable of trumping him. What I'm I saying is that just makes the, the statement that, I, that, that makes the statement pushed. of him being the strongest and that being a narrative point wrong because if Naruto surpasses him, then he isn't at this apex. Naruto no, well, you know, you know that it's stated that like Sasuke can't touch Neji, right? I disagree with that. Well, well, hold on. I, I just asked you if you're aware of that. Oh, uh, no. Can you show me? Uh, yeah, give me a second. But, like, even still going with the point, they don't know of Gara. So, I don't I don't know how that statement relates to Gara when they don't know about him. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can say, if I say Mike Tyson is the best fighter in the world, that's only what I know. Someone could definitely be better than Mike Tyson. Just in fighting generally, or even in boxing. My statement isn't, like, the the word of God. If I Unless you can prove Tintin knows of everything Gara has. Then that statement oh, here, is just, here, it doesn't make sense. You can't say that. Here, here we have the Kakashi, firm actually. I would say Kakashi's more of a Sasuke D rider, but like, yeah, here she's like, uh, I don't even think that Sasuke could beat Neji. When does he say this? I, I sent the scan. He says, it, like, when Neji fucking bodies, what's her name, Hinata? Oh, okay. He's like, but I doubt that against a fighter like this, Neji, even our Sasuke would prevail. Okay, that's just him assuming. I can make I can make a guess on who's gonna win. That don't mean that's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Well, we see. Well, here we see. He knows Sasuke's ability. Mm-hmm. He should, and he sees Neji. He makes this one. He makes one like uh, vis- or he sees he sees Neji fight once. He's like, oh shit, Sasuke can't touch this man. Well, he's you know, saying like- even he says I doubt. So he's like iffy. He's not sure if Sasuke will lose. And even then, a statement could be contradicted by feats. The yeah, see, I understand that, but I'm more so pushing on like a narrative argument that no, for this I, I part get of what the you're debate. getting at with like the narrative. What I'm saying is like I can say, "Oh damn, he ain't gonna win," and then he wins, or or he just shows better feats. I'm not gonna act like this statement in the narrative is like absolute. It would have been contradicted by the showings of the feats of the character. The- I don't think a narrative is more so contradicted. A statement can be, but the narrative, I think the narrative is more absolute, really. Well, the narrative of the story that you're implying, um, not saying this is what you're actually saying, right? This is just an example. Say if the narrative was like, this character is the strongest, but he gets fucking bodied. Then the narrative no longer exists. It would have to be a different narrative than what you're saying well, it is. Well, see, this I was more so, well, I, I, well, I, I, I know you didn't mean to strongman me there. No, I didn't. That's why I said it's an example. I'm not saying this is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm more so saying that like uh, the narrative is that Neji is like supposed supposed to be right. That's mm-hmm. why it's contradictory. He's supposed to be perfect, and Naruto, the shitty Genin who's like ass, beats him. Right? Mm-hmm. That's the narrative. It, like the narrative is also that Sasuke can't beat him. This is part of like this. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is also like most like the hatred statements in that little Gara fight too is also kind of building up the fact that Sasuke's like shit. This dude can a- can actually probably beat me. And then second, this is said, but it's like Sasuke's like um, wants to fight Naruto. That's part of the narrative too. Like, mm-hmm. he wants to fight Naruto in the tuning exams. That's mm-hmm. why it's, like, uh, it's hyping up the fact that Naruto is more so, like, uh, getting stronger than Sasuke. And that Neji is the baseline to pass at this point, not Sasuke. Okay. Well, I just disagree with that because the showings of feats and then even, like, back to, like, the Gara hatred point. I explained that it didn't relate to the interpretation you're making it out to be. It relates more to just, like, in the fact of Sasuke having less of a drive. His overall drive to complete his goal is less than what Gara's is. Gara is ready to do every and anything to, you know, get what he wants. You know, his hatred in, in the sense of what they're talking about, what Gara is having this conversation with Sasuke about is greater than Sasuke. Sasuke's chilling out a bit. He's kind of becoming a bit lax. You know, he's caring about Naruto and Sakura more. You know, he, he's, he's becoming soft, you know, in, in terms of like how Gara would see him. It's like you have all this hatred, but you're kind of soft. You know, you're not firm in that in that stance. And this is, and then even going forward, narratively, Sasuke becomes more, he pushes them away. And, and you can blame a bit of Gar and then like later on Atachi for them, for that overall change in Sasuke's character. And like, even to like the Neji point, what I'm saying is that Tintin's statement isn't absolute. They often only gave her knowledge on what she would logically know. And we know Gar is a lot stronger than what she, when she makes the claim that his, def, um, Neji's defense is better than Gar's. 
it's never a claim about um uh Gar's absolute defense. He never state that. So I won't make the idea that Neji's is still better. I would only say Neji is better than what that version of Gar that Tintin was speaking on. I won't go further than that, even like narratively. If if the logic of Kakashi saying, well, I doubt he can win doesn't mean Sasuke couldn't win. It's just like I'm iffy on it. I I don't I, I'm not sure. I'm 50-50, which isn't an absolute thing either, because doubt isn't a hundred percent a fact. I can doubt something and be wrong on it. A statement can always be contradicted. And, and you know, on to my like last point, which is be the feet support Sasuke having greater uh scaling than Neji does. We even have like statements of Naruto being like, I can't fight Gara, but he just fought Neji. And but then Sasuke could fight Gara. <laughs> you know, what I mean, like it's just it's more to support Sasuke having these feats that hold more ground than the the kind of like the narrative you're painting for Neji to try to like support him being higher still. All right. I, I want to go into feats just like one more time. Since I, I think I'm still like I, 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 I really don't think that Sasuke's uh relative to like even like a half transformed Gara. Okay. You can explain me why, or you can ask me. Like, yeah, why. I'll go ahead. You you know, okay, here we go. Okay, so basically, like, um, hey, hold on. So I, I sent the scan of him getting, like, hit by a bunch of attacks from Gara. I sent it already, but I'll send it again. Mm-hmm. Here it is. And then, um, shit, let me find it. It's, it's just, like, uh, more feats of, like, Sasuke's... Sasuke's, like, uh, ability to react isn't really his, like, body. It's more so his Sharingan precogging it. So I think that if he, like, the, without the Sharingan, his body isn't really as relative to Gara as his eyes are. So I think that, like, uh, in regards to speed, Gara should definitely be faster. The only, like, chance that Sasuke's having here is in regards to the, his Sharingan. He even states that himself. He said that he'd be dead. Okay, well, I disagree. Do you um you remember the scene where Lee states, well, you may have the Sharingan, but your body still needs to be able to react? Like, if your body can't do anything, you're fucked? Or you need me, like, to show it? Uh, yeah, here's, like, the problem with that. This, this is Lee making a complete assumption based on the uh, things he's heard about the uh, Sharingan in the past. He actually doesn't know that you can precog with Sharingan, right? No, but I'm standing here, right? This. In the fight, we know that it's proven what he's saying is correct. Because Sasuke's like, fuck, he's so fast. And the Sharingan can't no. keep up. So we know that no, the is... Sharing... Wait, it's Sorry, I was just going to say that like the Shar- he the Sharingan can't even react. Like uh he, even even the Sharingan isn't capable of reacting to Lee. His vision, he, he gets perception blitzed, not mm-hmm. really his body. I can send that if you want. Yeah, if you got the Lee scan that would be great cuz I'm looking for it and shit. Uh yeah, I'm sending it now. If you look in like the top or like the middle right, he says my copy eye, that's the Sharingan, couldn't see through his technique. This is him in regards to like uh, it being a taijutsu technique. Let me find this. Um, yeah, what chapter do they fight? I forgot the number is. Uh, the fight between Sasuke and Lee is 36. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> Much I, love. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was it. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Okay. And also, like, um, the whole thing about Sasuke being relative to uh, Lee and speed. I I really think I I I kind of like supported that with like uh regards to that that panel of Lee. And also, Lee actually cannot be surpassed in speed. Mm-hmm. Okay, Guy so speed. he said my copy eye couldn't see through his technique. Yeah, I thought that was just then, in terms of him trying to like copy it. Oh, like him, him uh, I don't think the, he was trying to copy because, it. Because you know, originally in the scene, he thought like Lee was using like illusions. Uh, yeah, he he like um he uses hidden leaf hurricane, then he kicks him up into the air. Right? And he, like, connects Lotus on him. Wait, hold on. I, I'll go to the chapters real quick. Wait, this. let me show you what I'm talking about. Because he, like, Sasuke flat out states, is this, like, mar- is this martial arts or an illusion? Um, yeah, that's kind of what I was referring to. I'm looking for the scan where you, I think he directly states that the Sharingan can't keep up. All right, let me make sure I find everything on my point here. 
the art of illusion. So like right here, right? Unless we're about to pull up the same thing, you probably are. Okay, cool. Um, maybe. <laughs> Let's say we on Jinx, you owe me a coke dog. But yeah, we have like Sasuke being like, "Yo, I'm trying to like um understand if this is like an illusion of some sort." And it's not that the eye can't see it; it's just that the like the eye is useless in this case because it's just martial arts. It's just his, it's just pure hands, and Sasuke's body can't react to it. It doesn't matter that he can see it. Hey, right, hold on, give me a second. I'm looking for yeah, this take your time, bro. Um. Yeah, he pulls out the Sharing on here. Um, gets kicked up into the air. He's confused. He's confused. That's right. It's Taijutsu. And then he talks about that. Yeah, and by the way, like this, this whole like um, thing, this is on the, this is like on the basis of what Lee's heard before, right? He actually doesn't know what the Sharing Gun can do. Well, he knows yeah, the that, parts that's that important. Right. right, hold on. He says if, right? If regards to more of like a hypothetical, he's like, uh, if what I've heard is true, base of the Sharingan, you know? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is he literally so, like lays out basically all the general knowledge that he would need to make this assertion. He's like, because he like literally he explains like all of it greatly. I'm sure your Sharingan uh, is invaluable against arts like ninjutsu and gijutsu with their formalized rules, sign casting, and chakra. But physical taijutsu arts and their pure form are a different story. If your Sharingan eye can see to the heart of every ninja art well enough to duplicate it as is said to, then you know what I say is true. Even if you could perceive and understand my movements, you lack the strength and speed to counter them. If you see, haven't had the physical training necessary to keep up with me. All, see, the thing is, all of that is purely hypothetical. He says, um, he says, I'm sure if, even if, and then he's like, um, if he's basically talking about like, if what he's heard as true, he doesn't actually know if Sasuke is perceiving him right now. Mm -hmm. He's just saying like, um, like even if what I've heard about the Sharingan is true and you can perceive me, then you still can't react. Okay. But can we, I ask you a question? We know. The thing is that we know that Sasuke is not really like reacting to him at all. He doesn't know that Lee's coming. That's why his face in that like top panel, he's like, oh shit, the fuck is happening? Well, I would just yeah. argue that's because Sasuke was trying to see if it was an illusion or not. And the pure fact that Lee doesn't use any type of like chakra techniques, right? Besides just hands, just caught him off guard. And then it was just a pure yeah. uh, physical thing rather than the Sharingan just couldn't help him. And Lee, well, Lee's Lee actually whole stating, statement supports it. And just to fight itself supports that Lee, fact. Lee's talking to him in the air about how this is not, this is like taijutsu. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh shit, I'm getting blitzed by fucking taijutsu. And then like, uh, th then Lee's like stating um, based on like a pure hypothetical. So I don't think that that really holds that much weight. It's kind of more of an assumption to assume that Lee or Sasuke was like reacting to these. Because we Lee doesn't know. He has no way of knowing at all. Also, I would make the. I also want to ask the question. So, what Lee states is literally what the Sharingan can do. He's not like what he states isn't like way off basis. So, why would Lee have to have like a hundred percent knowledge for in this situation his claim to not have some weight? Uh yeah, I think it's impossible for him to know whether he's like real. Well, he knows the Sharingan copies. He knows the Sharingan can see. He even names it. Like he explains the basis of what a Sharingan can do. So even yes. if he isn't like a hundred percent, what he lays out is literally what it does. Okay, but the problem is the statement on like uh, in regards to Sasuke himself. That that's more so what's like a uh, purely assumption based. There's at, like it's literally impossible for Lee to know whether Sasuke's actually seeing him move or not. Well, he can, like, he, he knows the Sharingan. He and literally what he can't. Know. You know what I mean? Like he, he can't. Know. What he names is what the Sharingan does. So he has an understanding. He doesn't have like a complete. You know. A complete understanding but he has enough to make what he's saying not like unreliable but the thing is he's making it unreliable by providing it as a hypothetical he's saying like um he's well, like he, he's so confident because in he's blitzing abilities. he's blitzing sasuke that's why i would say he's saying if, i i think he's blitzing sasuke for sure no like, i know he's saying but, if like if you could perceive my movements right if i'm not just too fast for you then your body still needs to be able to react. That's what the if is. Yeah, for. that's basically what I'm saying. Uh, that he's providing it as a hypothetical, so he couldn't tell if Sasuke is really reacting. 
No, because he's just but, blitz, uh, like he's not having trouble hitting Sasuke. So he's saying the if part is like, well, if in the hypothetical, you can actually see what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna still beat your ass. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. His statement just doesn't really hold any weight. He can't prove that Sasuke's reacting or not, or like looking at him. But uh, we can like it. It's getting like a bit late. I got some shit to do. If you want to like conclude, is that okay? Okay. Well, um, we got any other points we got to get to? Because I don't want like leave hanging well, on something. My, my, I just wanted to go over speed one more time. I think that was like the most important. Yeah. Thing. Okay. Go ahead, homie. Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, so I think that I'm just gonna like go over it again. What was your contentions to like uh, Neji scaling to gates one through three? Um, I didn't have any contention. There. I was fine with that. I just stated that Sasuke would scale um above it based off his showing of feats. Oh, to like the fourth gate? Yeah. I explained okay. that through the use of feats, you would scale either equal to it, right? If we want to lowball it or just logically above it, given that this guard is like stronger than before. And, and there's no like, there's no contention to Sasuke being slower than the gates in any way. Yeah, I'm going to like continue with the argument that like Sasuke is weight base weightlessly speed. Um, we can get into that. I, I'm sure you're aware of the statement. Wait, repeat. You talking about what, um, where Mike Guy says it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what I said in regards to that? Um, It was like uh, Weightless Lee can be Fifth Gate Lee. That's fine. Yeah. They're, they're the same person. Yep. That's okay. what I said. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm just going to go into more so like the context. Mm -hmm. So we like know for a fact that it's like – um. I like it's it shows in those panels we talked about it earlier. I can send it. It's mm -hmm. like uh, wait, like base Lee behind Sasuke, just like him, just like this base Lee we see in the picture. I was saying that's mimicking uh, his taijutsu. That's fast. not that's not so wait. that's not so much in reference to like his speed. He said, "Wait, Gar says fast in that panel, so fast would refer." Yeah, he's, he's saying like fast, just fast, like him. Just like but then we know that like Sasuke is increasing his speed, and even this panel is showing more of like him replicating the Taijutsu of Lee. Uh, well, I, I just think that the fact that he says fast makes him have like he has to be referring to speed here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then even when so he I says think... fast like him, what I'm saying like the statement doesn't the the showing of Lee behind him is in reference to him mimicking Lee's Taijutsu. The statement of fast can literally go with just Lee generally in the fight that he had. And then we know that Sasuke Wait. would have to scale above that version of Lee based off the data book scan stating that Sasuke is the strongest opponent. And he, and he pushed Gaara to the point where he needed to go full body possession. But um, was it fourth? Was it fourth or fifth gate? I gotta remember. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm a, Okay, so... Because <laughs> I didn't want to like, say some shit that ain't true. So I'm gonna just say fourth gate. And fourth gate, Lee could even push Gaara to that point. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's so yeah. dangerous, so much stronger than Sasuke, faster and all that. Then why did why does Gar fight Sasuke? He's like fuck. I gotta transform. I, I can't. Do well, this. here's can't the thing. Him. I think uh, ch just like the thing about like base Lee being in the background, and then second, right? Mm -hmm. I think that uh, this part where they're in the uh, like the arena more so references the fight between Weightless Lee and Gara, and then when he amps up Chidori, right? Mm -hmm. Chidori is more like. Uh, his, he, nobody knows he has it. It's like his trump card, right? right? Same as the gates were for Lee. So Chidori amp can more so scale towards like the gates. However, I just think that Sasuke moving around, it, it's just like weight base, weightless Lee speed. Yeah, well, I disagree with that. I gave my reasons why. I feel like there's okay. more support that he like scales to that version of Gated Lee since Gar can... takes him more of a threat before Chidori than he took Gated Lee in their entire fight. Uh, you want to conclude on this then? Uh, yeah, so, I think yeah, you, yeah. Said you can go ahead and go first if you want. So basically, I literally forgot what the fuck was the point. <laughs> basically, my conclusion would be that uh, Sasuke has a better showing of feats than Neji does. And through the use of scaling, even if you want to say like, uh, it, like due to use of feats, we know that Neji, you can put him at like fourth gate Lee, which logically you can argue Sasuke would be above or um, yeah, logically above, honestly, in my opinion. And then we can also make the case that if you want to say he's relative to QBM, then Sasuke, through the use of scaling and statements and feats, would scale logically above that QBM version of Naruto, which logically would put Sasuke ahead of Neji. And then narratively, I spoke on the point that like Tintin's statement is unreliable. Kakashi's statement was more of a 50-50 assumption on what would possibly be the fact. And um, overall, the feats support that Sasuke is ahead of Neji overall. And then um, do I need to like speak on like the base like the um the Naruto and Gara thing or 
we don't got to like. Oh, uh, whatever you it. want, man. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if like we already talked about that point, so I'm trying to remember everything. Um, on the topic of base Naruto being relative to uh to Gara, I spoke on that and stated it was inconsistency within his feats. Gara wasn't taking him seriously in the fight. The time where he styles him in the booty hole is still in a time where Gara is not taking him serious. This is substantiated by the fact that afterwards he states, "I underestimated him." Um, uh, I asked you. We spoke on the fact that if Naruto was able to blitz him then why couldn't he jump away and avoid Gara after that point he felt like the only way he could like get away was by getting smacked meaning he didn't believe he can get away from Gara in the slightest uh mental amp Naruto being relative to Gara um in his form is fine because I spoke on the fact that I don't believe he was mental amped against Neji since nothing supports any type of mental amp in um the fight itself and I believe that mental amps need to actually be stated or presented in some way within the actual fight to say that it happened like in his fight with Gar, where we know that the mental amp is literally apparent by use of like the the context of the scene and character statements and yeah through that i feel like i proved that sasuke skills above uh neji overall pretty sure that was everything yep fair all yeah. right i'll go ahead and go okay so basically uh we to start we kind of like nullified ap we agreed that like Neji ignores their ability, so we just kind of have to hit them once. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of got into speed and like narrative also. So in regards to speed, um, we agreed that Neji was like gate, like relative to gates one through three. And um, we then kind of went back and forth on uh, how fast Sasuke is, right? And I think I provided ample proof in regards to seeing base Lee behind uh, Sasuke in regards to that statement. And then hit like Gara referring to fast, just like him. So that make him refer to speed there. And so like that that was kind of the argument there. So if that were true, that that would mean that like uh, Neji would be capable of blitzing Lee in the one shotting with the ignore Dura. And then we argued the narrative, and I think I provided the narrative well of the fight between like the fact that Neji kind of surpasses. Sasuke in all ways. This is like supported by Kakashi's statements, ten ten statements. You, you can take them how you want, but it, it's more so the author's intent than like uh, just 10 10 D riding. Because there's like, there's got to be a reason the author wrote that in there, right? I don't think it really portrays 10 10's character. And then we go into like um, Naruto, and I think we agreed that like Mental Amp Naruto was relative to a fully transformed Gara. And I think I did a good job of proving that Naruto is also Mental Amp versus Neji. So that would make Neji scale to a stronger Naruto. Since he was using QB, then uh, then um, the one that fights Gara, and then we kind of like we already agreed that like Gara, that version of Gara was stronger than the other version of Gara. And I think I provided ample evidence that that Sasuke isn't really faster than that Gara at all. The Sharingan kind of saved him, and yeah, that was basically it. Okay, all right, cool. That was a nice debate. Yeah, that was. A